So here's the story. Steve Rapp, who races for Attack Kawasaki, won the Daytona 200 in 2007. Kawasaki wanted to say thanks by sending him and three buddies to Australia for some fun. Rapp brought along a good friend and Hollywood stuntman Tom McComas, Psycho World Magazine writer Matthew Miles, and me, Greg White with the camera, for six days halfway around the world. So let's pick up the trip on day two, the first day of riding Kawasaki's KLX 450R in the Outback. Well, here we are in Australia, day two. Yesterday was a, a travel day. We had some good food and we got to the hotel and now it's time to ride. Get all the proper gear on here. And it's about uh, eight o'clock in the morning. And as you can see behind me, there's uh, the truck and all the motorcycles ready to go. So we're gonna try to find out what kind of route we're gonna take today. Now this is Matthew Philpot. He's the inventor of Bark Busters in Australia and he'll be our guide for the next two days. Where are we going today? Okay, today, uh, starting down here, Mollymook, head out through a couple of tar sections for all you tar fairies. And then uh, once we get out into the bush, we'll uh, leave the uh, transport vehicle, but uh, we'll do a bit through the scrub here. We can meet up along the uh, tar section here, we're back into the bush here, and uh, we'll come down to a river crossing here at um, uh, Barren Ridge. Uh, we'll uh, stop there for a bit of morning tea and then uh, after that through some more bush meet up with the car again at Mount Mogood for a beautiful lookout. After that down to Shallow Crossing for lunch and uh, meet back with the car there. And then uh, from there on down to Batemans Bay. So it's off to the bush for some riding. At first we were all just a little tight, taking our time to get up to speed, enjoying riding in another country, all that stuff. Our first stop was a small but rutted up little creek crossing. Everyone's probably going to get stuck getting up out of that hill there. Okay. Oh yeah! First casualty. And that's the pro, that's the A guy. First up from our group, Daytona 200 winner, Steve Rapp. Oh, take it easy, Steve. Yeah. Matthew Miles had a good run down the hill and then got stuck just a little bit heading up the hill. Yeah. Then it was Tom McComas' turn. Now with my run down the hill and up and over, it was time to head to another part of the bush. This creek crossing was a bit challenging for us, but we all made it through without a problem, which means it's time to head off to the lookout. I'm having a great time. Uh, we're up here at a uh, nice lookout having lunch, I think. And uh, at first when I started riding, I didn't feel that good. It's like I've ridden a dirt bike for so long and then uh, just as just been riding for the last couple hours, I feel good now, and I uh, made some adjustments to the bike actually, and that helped a lot. And let some air out of the tires, that helped a lot. And uh, I don't know, I like the bikes a lot. KLX 450, it's a really good bike. I mean, it's got good low end, and we're just cruising through these fire roads and single tracks and having a good time. On our way back to Batesman's Bay, we went by a public road called Shallow Crossing. This was a ton of fun. And speaking of fun, we even decided to have a little bit of a Roots contest going on. Oh, look at the people in the canoe. You know they're loving this. All told on a day, we did 191 kilometers, just under 120 miles. So, when we made it to Batesman's Bay, it was time to relax, have a good meal. Some of the boys had some beers, and rest up for another big day tomorrow. So, check out our second installment of Riding in Australia.